Interworks is a beta partner for Tableau Pulse, and we've just been given access to this new feature on our Tableau server. I wanted to take a look at it and show you what I found. I think it's a really interesting new product. Let's imagine that I'm the sales manager for Europe, and, and in particular, I'm interested in the corporate segment, and I'm the sales manager for the global superstore. Now, in my email this morning, I found an email from Tableau Pulse giving me a quick update on the sales compared to last year and for the sales so far this month. It's a very simple snapshot, but it tells me something that I'm very interested in and that is critical to my operation. So how did I get that? Let's have a look at Tableau Server and see how I set this up. So in Tableau Server, I found there's an extra menu item for Tableau Pulse, and it's right next to Explorer and external assets on the server. And if I click this, it actually opens up a new working area. It looks a little bit different to what we've seen before, but uh, I think this is a very interesting product and it's probably going to develop uh, over time. We can see here that there's a couple of metrics that I'm already following. And if I wanted to set up a new one, what I'd do is go into the metric definition and start to explore the data that's available. Now in here, I already set up an example of the global superstore data set. This is coming from a live database and it's getting updated daily. So I can use this to simulate what's actually happening in my store. The measure that I want to see, the metric that I'd like to get is uh, my sales. I'm just gonna keep this very simple. We we'll call it sales and I'm going to put a description, which is my daily sales update. And the field that I want to look at, this is actually defining the measure that I'm going to get sent. The field that I want to look at is the sales field. And if you've worked with the global superstore uh, or the standard data set that's installed with Tableau, you'll be very familiar with this. So I'm going to have a look at the, the sum of my sales and I want to see that cumulative. And I'm going to look at that by order date. All right, so I've set up the, the basic metric in here. And there are a couple of areas that uh, I can make additional selections as well. There's a thing called a definition filter. And there's also an optional metric filter that I can work with in here. Let's have a quick look at the definition filter. And in the definition filter, we can see things that I can actually uh, fix up front. These are things that a user won't be able to adjust, but I will. Now, for example, I might be interested to look at one particular market, and I'm going to select the European market. So now my me measure is specific to Europe, and I'm looking at month to date compared to the previous month. I may want to give an optional filter for the users um, and let's say I want to make the segment something that the user can select. And you can see here, I can change number formats if I want to. If I go in here, we can actually change things to um, make that a currency. And right now I'm showing a currency in sales, which is uh, showing my, my month to date performance. So let's save this. And now I have another metric. It's actually giving me some uh, updates on the me metric. There's a little bit of artificial intelligence helping me out here with a description about what's going on. We can see there are filters that I can set. We can see this is a month to date measure. I'm looking at a comparison with the previous uh, period and I can actually adjust the segment. So if I want to use this, and this is something the user can actually select now, I can say here, I actually want to just look at the consumer segment, all right? So I'm adapting this measure to uh, to my own needs. Uh, I'm adapting this to my own needs. And uh, now I want to actually store the metric and send it to myself to, uh, to keep. So let's store the metric and I'm going to follow it. And now I've done everything I need to tomorrow morning I'll get an update on this metric popping into my email box and I'll be able to keep an eye on things that matter. This actually looks really simple, but I think there's a lot of power in it because if I think back of um, a lot of the things that we experience in daily life, 
there's often one key thing or one or two key things that you really want to keep a, an eye on. Um, around Christmas, everybody's looking forward to uh, to celebrating, but afterwards, you'll see a, a huge increase in people looking for diets. And uh, you can bet your life the metric they'll be following there is weight. Um, a lot of interest in uh, activity tracking these days. So a lot of people will be following things like their daily steps or uh, their sleep scores, things like that. So I think this is something that really is recognizable and uh, can be very, very helpful. I hope you'll enjoy working with the Tableau Pulse. And to get it set up, or if you have any questions about it, we'd love to help you. Please reach out to Interworks, and we can make sure that you're well set up to take full advantage of this new functionality. Oh,